and close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. You want to stay right here. Think of the breath coming in and out like the waves on the shore. The waves rise and the waves fall. And you've got a post that's planted right at the edge, and it doesn't rise or fall with the waves. It's there, planted firmly deep into the earth. Whatever come, whatever go, whatever comes, whatever goes, you don't have to be affected by it. You don't have to be shaken up by it. And this way you don't create any trouble for yourself or the people around you. Because for most of us, our minds are like a post that's lying on the on the sand there. The, rock, the water comes in and the, the post goes up, and the water goes out and goes out. In other words, whatever affects us, good or bad, the mind picks it up, makes it a big issue. And the problem with a post like that is if there's anybody else on the beach, the post can come up and break their leg, break their arm, or the post itself might get smashed up against a, a rock because it allows itself to be pushed around by the water. You want to create a mind that's really solid, it's not pushed around by things. Because that way you can maintain your sense of what's right and what's wrong. Not be pushed around by other people's moods or by your moods. In fact, it's your moods that are the more dangerous ones. Other people may say things that got us upset, but the extent to which we get upset and then do something really stupid, you can't blame it on their words. It's because we take their words and we use them to destroy our own goodness. That's something we've got to learn how not to do. So the mind needs a place where it can step back from these things and see, okay, they said that, but that's just their words. That's their karma. Their karma doesn't have to touch you. That way the water rises and the water falls, but the post stays still, and the post maintains its integrity. So it requires practice, though, because it's so easy to get under the influence of sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations, things coming in, and also the things coming out of the mind. We go looking for trouble sometimes. We go looking for things to get angry about, or go looking for things to get lustful about, or greedy about, or fearful about, or to worry about. It's the mind going out that creates a lot of the trouble. So you want to make the mind really firm. So whatever happens, it has a clear sense of what's right and what's wrong, what it should and shouldn't do, and it can maintain that, and it's well grounded. So this is how we practice, starting with the breath and then carrying that principle out into the rest of our lives. It's this way that we become a refuge to ourselves. We can depend on ourselves, because we learn how to depend on the solidity of the mind and the goodness of the mind. It's not going to get pushed around by other things. That's when you can really feel safe.